Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from gmustudent.com and today we are going to learn how to open up Dreamweaver and how to set up our site. So the first thing you want to do is let's go down to wherever your bars are and let's click Dreamweaver. Wow, I'm moving pretty fast today, okay. Sweet. So now that we have Dreamweaver open, let's ignore all of this stuff around here and all we're going to do is set up our new site. So let's go right to Site, New Site. So here you are going to do all the configuration for your site. You're going to define where everything's saved at. You're going to define where everything happens. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to see this site name. This is obviously the name of your site. Now it can have spaces, it can have uppercase letters, it doesn't matter because this is just how you distinguish it among your other sites. This doesn't go on the web or anything like that. It's just the site name. So let's just call this first site. So in our local site folder, that is where we are going to find where everything is saved. If you want to put it on a USB, you would click this and you would find your USB. If you want to put it on your desktop, you would do that. A quick tip of what I do, I like to save everything to my desktop and then I also copy it onto a USB. So I have it in two separate areas just in case anything happens. But let's go to our local site folder. And I'm going to go into my desktop, and when you find the area where you want it to be saved, click New Folder, and then now you're going to find the folder name for the entire site. So let's just call it First Underscore Site. Now you want to start doing the underscores and the no capital letters and the special characters. Now we're actually doing what is important, so let's keep everything critical. So let's go to Create. And now this is where everything that you do, all your pages, all your images are going to be saved right here. So let's click choose. Now, in order to define a specific area where our images are going to be saved, we need to make another folder inside the first site folder. So in order to do that, let's go to advanced settings and go into local info. And you're going to see default images folder. This is where all your images are going to be saved. So let's click this folder right here and let's go new folder and let's call this images. You can call it images, you can call it assets, whatever you want, and go create and choose. So now all your images are going to be placed in that default images folder. So now we are done. We've set up the site. The last thing that you might want to do right now is set up, how is my site going to get onto the internet? I'm going to make it here, but how do I put it up? Well, in order to do that, you want to go to servers, and then you're going to add a new server. So let's click that plus button, and basically what you are going to do here is you input your FTP address, which is your domain name, you're going to input your hosting username, and your hosting password. Now what does all this mean? Basically, if you go on to GoDaddy.com and get a new domain name, they're going to give you a hosting username and password. Then you're going to change it to whatever you want it to be. But basically, that hosting username and password is how you are going to get the rights to upload things to your website. So basically, you would put in, I don't know, HTTP colon backslash backslash www.firstsite.com, and then you would have the username that you had on GoDaddy and the password, and that's it. That is how you are able to upload things to that site. Since we don't have that information right now, let's just click Cancel, and let's click Save. So now you're going to see down here, all this just changed. It changed to First Site, that's the name we gave it, Site First Site, and we have our default images folder. So, if you did that last part I was talking about with the server, all you would have to do is click put files right here and if you had that username and password it would immediately put the entire site onto the internet just from clicking this up arrow so that's all we're gonna learn today we learned how to set up a new site Oh, if you want to make a new web page in that site, let's go over that real quick. You have your site, first site right here. In order to make a new web page, let's just right click that, go to a new file, and here you have your new web page right here. Let's just call it index.html. This will be our home page. Double click that, and now you have your first web page on your site. So yeah, that's all we're going to learn today. We set up a new site. We learned how to make a default images folder and how to make new web pages. So I hope this was a useful tutorial. Check out my website at gmustudent.com and thank you for watching.